Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Combinatorial Results. And this is part five of a little part mini series that I'm doing on Keno Lottery, specifically Keno Missouri Lottery, because the prizes are different between the different games. And here I have the prizes for Missouri Lottery. And if you're in a different state that have different prizes, then you can just simply update these vectors of numbers. So this is the prize for you know a one spot game you win zero or two, two spot game and so forth. And then I also have just below it, now the programs require that you use the same vector name but the numbers in the vectors can differ depending upon what state you live in. Now this is the bullseye, Kino bullseye game and the prizes associated with that and then the double bullseye are next and then the possible multipliers there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 10 multiplier with these probabilities and I'm just going to load those now the programs again I'm not really going to review them in this video but I'm going to put them in the comment section so you can you can have them, play with them, manipulate them, improve them, make them more efficient. And so this first one I call Kino Molt, which is the Kino Multiplier game, and it'll spit out all the probabilities associated with that. Then the next one I create what's called Kino Bull, and that creates all the probabilities and expected awards with the Kino Bullseye game. And then we have Kino Double Bull, which is, of course, the Kino Double Bullseye game. And I want to load those before I show you what I think is a misprint on the Missouri tickets. So here are the prizes for a 10 spot game Kino Multiplier. You can win with a zero, not a one, two, three, or four, but if you match five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten, you win. And these are the probabilities associated with it. Right here, these probabilities for a specific match. Now, on the back of the ticket on the Kino Multiplier game, they provide what's called a chance in one. And they, they provide the number 9.05, which is correct. And what that represents is on the numbers that you would win, so a zero, so you take that probability, add it to the probability of matching a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. And if you add those up, that's the probability that you win, which is 0.11. And then the reciprocal of that probability is actually the chances in one. So every 9.05 games, you would expect to win at least one game. Now the expected award for no multiplier is 60 cents, so it's 60 cents on the dollar. The expected award for um, Kino multipliers is 1.2. And this is, remember, this is for a 10 spot game. And if you put Kino Molt 9, then you, it would pop up the all these probabilities and expected uh, awards for a 9 point game. But I'm highlighting here oop, what I want to do. Oh, let me rerun both of those so I can get them back to back. So now here, so this is the Keenum Multiplier 10 spot game probabilities and expected awards. If, if you remember anything from parts 1 through 4, so this probability of a match, so the probability that you match 4, it doesn't change in any game you want. But the probability that you match 4 and no bullseye is different than this and the probability that you match four and have a bullseye is different than that and that's what these represent here so these are the probabilities of a match and no bullseye and this is these are the this column here is the probability of a match and you win the bullseye now notice that these sum to what's up there so if you take these two numbers and add them together that's the probability of matching four in the original Keno multiplier game. So now what they do on the tickets, which I really like, is they give the chances in one to win 
at Kino Bullseye with the bullseye. And so that's actually you just add these columns up here because you win if you match. And that probability is 0.125. And the reciprocal of that is 8. And so every 8 games you expect to win 1. Now what they didn't do, and I'll is update this number, right? So the probability that you match four and no bullseye is this column. That's really what they're trying to represent here. What they do is they carry this number down to this one, but it's not. The probability that you match and keno multiply with no bullseye is you add up those probabilities and it's 0.09. The reciprocal of that is 10.69. And so this is the chances in one of winning at Kino Bullseye when you don't match the bullseye. And I can, in the next one that we do, we'll kind of just highlight that it is a mistake. And so let's, let's, let's put the double bullseye for a 10 spot game up. Now notice, now there's columns of probabilities associated with matching and no bullseye a certain match with one bullseye and a certain match with two bullseyes. Now notice that if you take the sum of these across the row, you know, say for a four match, those add up to the original Keno multiplier four match. But that original Keno multiplier is now being divided into a match of four with no bull, a match of four with one bull, a match of four with two bulls. Okay, and so in on the ticket, they up, up correctly uh, look at the double bullseye. So the probability of winning is they add those up, which is uh, you have a one percent chance, and then the reciprocal of that is seven point two two, and that's correctly on the ticket. Now the probability that you match with and then have one bullseye is this column. And if you add those up, you get 0.22. And the reciprocal of that is 4.51. So this is the chances in one that you match and have one bullseye. But notice that they didn't carry the, the, the bullseye match from above, right? So these are the Keno bullseye where you match the red bullseye. These probabilities are different than these probabilities. And so they appropriately put in the correct probabilities and chances and ones. But now this column, the probability of a certain match and no bullseye, these probabilities are different than Keno bullseye and Keno multiplier. And but what and so if you add up the probabilities associated with the win and no bullseye, that's this 0.08. And the reciprocal would be 12.43. Now what they did was they carried this 9.05 down to each one of those on the back of the tickets that you play which is which is not the correct chances in one now also I have a column for the win column so you add up the probabilities of a win and it's 31 percent the reciprocal is 3.16 now they don't have this number but I think that's kind of an interesting number that they could put on the ticket Okay, so that's my two cents on the Keno multiplier where they didn't they didn't update the chances in one for winning and no bullseye. Now up here, so this function works for any number. So there's Keno seven and you get the same numbers, the ex expected return, expected return when you have to play the multiplier. This is for a seven point game, these are all the probabilities. Um, it works you know for the one spot and all the the Keno bulls work too there's there's the probabilities for a four spot the double bullseye works appropriately there this is it now the computer simulations again I'm not really going to go over this there's only f f two things you need to change how many reps so that's how many uh, simulations you run and then what spot game so this is a four spot game with a hundred thousand replications. Now when I was using these simulations to sort of validate the, the theoretical calculations I put it to millions. But 
this computer I'm on here is pretty slow so I didn't I don't want to set it too big during this video but then it pops out the probability of a win your at your expected award and then the chances in one game so this is for Keno multiplier no multiplier selected and I wrote the code for four different situations just because it was simpler and I wanted it to be correct so this is the simulation again there's only two things you change the reps and then in the end oh and it also assumes that the the awards or the prizes are what was in the in the beginning of this video so you can change the numbers if you want to your state and here's the Keno bullseye simulation that also works great and then these are the Keno double bullseye simulations that work and it's actually kind of fun to go through um, now this isn't the most efficient but I actually think it's the most readable code and understandable and I knew it was correct and so the simulations probably took longer than what they could have been but and I almost didn't share them because it's not the most efficient code but I think you guys would like it and appreciate it okay well that's all I have for this video hopefully you enjoyed that I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.